Yep. Time for me to build a western town. Hey everyone, my name is Tom and I welcome you to Escape Reality Hobbies. Yup. The old American West, the Wild West. Lots of legendary characters, people, places, and events came from this time period in our history. A lot of it fact, eh, a lot of it fiction, and a whole lot of it a confusing, jumbled, mythical mixture of the two. There are probably a lot of people out there that said, nah, never paid attention to the old American West whatsoever, no interest. But you know what? I bet they've probably heard of places like Tombstone, Arizona, or Dodge City, Kansas, Deadwood, South Dakota, or Carson City, Nevada. And they've probably heard of famous, or I should probably say infamous, characters like Billy the Kid, Wyatt Earp, Jesse James, and Wild Bill Hickok. So why do I want to build a miniature western town? I have a few Old West miniatures tabletop games. This particular one is called Gunfighter's Ball. It is made by Knuckle Duster. Even if you never play the game, this book is so well written and very entertaining. It's fun just to pick it up for that. The other book that I have... Dead Man's Hand by Great Escape Games. This actually uses playing cards, which is kind of fun when you're dealing with the Old West. The other two that I have, one is called Desperado, also made by Knuckle Duster, and one that I just downloaded from wargamesvault.com is called A Fistful of Lead Reloaded. I think it was $7.99 or possibly $9.99 downloaded in a PDF file. So those are the four games I have, and from what I can tell, there really aren't a a lot of Old West Western themed tabletop miniatures games out there. There are some generic rules and there's a few popular games that are mostly, I guess the best way to put it, they're a sci-fi, steampunk, dystopian type Western game. Now, I don't see myself really getting into those. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course I'd be interested in playing those as well. When I was just a little dude growing up, I had myself a cowboy outfit. I pretended to be either the town sheriff, I was a member of the posse hunting down some train robbers, or I was the train robber. I had a really cool collection of old style cap guns, the old school ones where you had the round paper red tape. If you ever fired one of those cap guns, you'll never forget what those things smelled like. I also had a trusty rubber band rifle that I carried around with me to the house all the time. And Speaking of rifles, probably my favorite Western television show at the time was The Rifleman, starring Chuck Connors. That was one confident hombre, and you gotta admit, that was one badass intro to that show. The Rifleman! I also had a pretty cool Indian outfit where I would imagine that I was a brave Apache, Comanche, or... Sioux warrior whenever the kids in the neighborhoods would get together to play cowboys and Indians and yes that's something kids used to do before the age of video games cell phones and iPads anybody who wanted to play the Indians would always argue who was going to be Geronimo everybody wanted to play him along with my cowboy and Indian outfits and my collection of cap guns I had built my very first Old West frontier town I had built it in my bedroom. I had this long shelf that I put it on, and I probably had about a 150 of these old plastic Marks Cowboys and Indian figurines. I also had a bunch of lawmen and some Desperado sets too. They each came with some small details, maybe a few terrain accessories, but I had built my town out of popsicle sticks, construction paper, 
think it was called paper mache where you would take the strips of the newspaper and you dip them through a bowl of some type of gooey mess made out of flour and water. No, it wasn't pretty when I was done, but I was absolutely thrilled with it. We didn't need participation awards in those days to be happy as a kid. I had actually probably kept that town for about three or four years. I used it all the time. But like clockwork, every single week I used to have to put it back together. My cat would jump up on the shelf. She would knock the cowboys and Indians all over the place. I used to have to make repairs with scotch tape and Elmer's glue because she would do some damage to the terrain. I think she was just trying to tell me that she wanted to play a gunfighter too. A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. I was just getting a little giddy looking at my first edition of Lone Ranger of 1936. Back to our current western town that I want to build together. I would like for all the elements, the buildings, the accessories, the terrain pieces to be, what's the word I'm looking for, interchangeable on their own bases. This way, I don't have to build the entire town, which would one, be impractical because I wouldn't have any room for it to display it or for storage, and two, by making it smaller and everything on their own base, I can use various sizes of battle boards, battle mats, so I can simulate particular areas of the town, the outline areas, or even the surrounding territory. Yes, this project is going to take a long time, especially with all the other hobbies that I want to dabble in, but I most certainly hope it's going to be a labor of love that I stick with it, but hopefully it's not going to take so long that I look like this guy when I'm done, or it doesn't drive me to drink. Although I haven't built anything yet, I have accomplished two things. One, I've come up with a name for my town, and two, I've written its history, at least so far. So here's a little something something I created for you guys to hopefully wet your whistle. Hopefully you enjoy it.
Purgatory Falls, the rest of its history still needs to be written, but that's going to be determined by the games that are played with this table. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and hopefully it's triggered your interest to look forward to more to come. If any of you have any suggestions on what I should build, or how I should build them, or even recommendations for resources so I can see what old western buildings look like, please leave some comments below and share with others. Until next time, enjoy life, and I hope that you all get to escape reality quite often. Take care, everyone.